So here guys in this video we are going to learn release power method. So basically it is called as power method. This is the basically we are going to find out the largest eigenvalue and the corresponding the corresponding largest eigenvector using this method power method. It is called as power method. Okay. Now this was a person who has given this method. Okay. So they will give you one A matrix. It will be a square matrix. It can be 2 cross 2, 3 cross 3, 4 cross 4. Anything is possible. So here I have taken 3 cross 3 matrix and the initial approximation, initial iteration for that initial approximation x power 0 they will give you. x power 0 you can call or x of 0 whatever this power method so we will call x power 0. And here they have given it as 1 0 0 and they have given it as transpose. So transpose in the sense you have to write it as 1 0 0. Ok so we will try to do. So first step very simple method this is we will try to understand. So first step what we are going to do. Step 1 to find out x power 1 which is equal to a into x power 0. Now what is a matrix? A matrix it is given over here 2 0 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 right into we have to multiply with what x of 0. So x power 0 we already have 1 0 0 transpose in the sense you have to write it column wise. So 1 0 0 simple you have to multiply this one. So how to multiply this? See carefully you see that we know that this is nothing but 3 cross 3 ok this is 3 cross 1 3 rows and 1 column so this should match right then only we can multiply 3 and 3 is matching so the what should be the order of the answer answer order should be 3 cross 1 right 3 cross 1 so 3 rows 1 column only 1 column will be there so multiplying will be very easy first row take multiply with this column only 1 column is there second you take multiply with this third row multiply with this done so what will happen here so two first row i'll take 2 into 1 which is 2 0 into 0 0 1 into 0 0 so 2 into 1 is 2 so write 2 done next second row you have to take multiply with this one and add so 0 into 1 0 plus 2 into 0 0 plus 0 into 0 0 right 0 third row you have to take and multiply here so it will be 1 into 1 1 plus 0 into 0 0 2 into 0 0 so what is left out 1 1 into 1 1 so this is the matrix you are going to get which is nothing but 3 cross 1 matrix ok so order of the matrix is 3 cross 1 so in this what you have to do very important step you need to remember that is nothing but after getting the answer you have to this is nothing but x power 1 you have to take the largest power common largest value you have to take it as common this is very important ok so when you take largest value from here common so it will be 2 common because what is the largest value in this 2 0 and 1 which is the largest value 2 so you have to take 2 common so what is left out then 2 by 1 is 1 0 by 2 is 0 divide by 2 ok 1 by 2, uh, 2, 1 by 2 is 0 0.5, right? So 0 0.5. I hope you understood what I have done. So basic thing is nothing but 2 I have taken outside. That's why I have to divide by every, every element by 2. So by 2, by 2, by 2. Okay? Now, this outside whatever the value is there, that will be the eigenvalue. Okay? Eigenvalue. So this you can consider it as what? Represent it as lambda power 1 or lambda 1 something like that but this is not the final value we have to do certain iterations then only you will understand ok second iteration we have to find x of 2 so a into x power 1 now it has changed see carefully it has changed from 0 to 1 1 to 2 which is equal to a will remain as it is there is no change in a What will change? x power 1 will come. So which value I should take? See this value you should take. After taking out the largest value, whatever the matrix is left out, that matrix has to come here. Okay. So it will be 1, 0, 0 0.5. Then you have to again multiply. So what I will do? I will do the all the steps of calculation because uh, what happens is that little bit confusions will be there for many students. So that's why I will do calculation. If you want, you can skip this part. Okay. 
so i have to multiply row with the column so it will be 2 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 1 into 0, 0.5 so it will be i'll write 2 into 1 is 2 plus 0 into 0 is 0 plus 1 into 0.5 is 0.5 this i'll write one more extra step next second row into this column so second row into column so it will be 0 into 1 which is 0 plus 2 into 0 0 plus 0 into 0 0 so in all the cases it will be 0 itself second element you can write directly 0 okay next third row so 1 into 1 1 plus 0 into 0 0 plus 2 into 0.5 which is nothing but 1 so it will be equal to 2.5 0 and 2 from this what i should do i should take the largest value is outside right so the largest value we can say it is 2.5 so i can take 2.5 outside so what will be left out 1 divide everything divide by 2.5 whatever you are taking common you have to divide by that element okay so divide by 2.5 1 0 over 2.5 is 0.0 only and 2 divided by 2.5 is how much it is 0.8 be careful okay 0.8 now here see the lambda value has changed this we can name it as lambda 2 okay second iteration right lambda 2 now we have to see there is a slight change in this and this right there is a slight change in the vector we are considering that means the x power 2 But uh, matrix we are having slight change. Only this value has changed. We'll see third iteration. Third iteration, what happens? X power three is equal to a into x power two. Okay, it's x power two. Multiply it. So what it will be? Again the same concept. Multiplication. So it will be two into one two plus zero plus zero point eight. Next zero plus zero plus zero. Next third row into column one plus zero plus two into zero point five one point six. So what it will be equal to two point eight zero two point six. From this I have to take the largest value common, which is nothing but two point eight. So what will be left out? Divide everything by 2.8. So 1, 0, 2.6 divided by 2.8 is 0.9286. Now again we have to observe the previous value. This is 2.8. This is 2.5. It started increasing, right? First it was 2, 2.5, 2.8. Now the matrix also you observe. This is 1. This is 1. This is 0. This is 0. But from 0.8 it has increased to 0.9286. Okay. We'll go for the fourth iteration. X power four, x of four, a into x of three. The previous value. Again, the same thing. A we have to take. So what will happen? Multiply two into one two plus zero plus zero point nine two eight six. Next value zero plus zero plus zero. Next value one plus Zero plus zero uh, two into zero point nine two. This thing will be one point eight five seven two. So again, what we have to do? We have to take uh, the answer will be two point nine two eight six zero two point eight five seven two. Now from this, we have to take what largest value, which is nothing but this value. So two point nine two eight six common. Divide everything by that value to one zero, and this thing when you divide, you will be getting it as zero point nine seven five six. Okay, this is the value we are getting. So we'll go for the fifth iteration, which is x power five, which is equal to a into x power four. Multiply. Two into one two plus zero plus zero point nine seven five six, and here it will be zero plus zero plus zero, and the last value will be one plus zero plus two into this thing. So two into zero point nine seven five six will be one point nine five one two. 
okay so from this we can take uh, the answer will be 2.97560 2.9512 so which one is greater this one is greater take that value outside so 2.9756 outside remaining will be 1 0 when you divide this two how much you will be getting 0 0.9918 this value lambda value and this lambda value is quite getting closer right it is closer getting closer to some so it is getting stable stabilized the value is getting stabilized that is the main intention right so value is getting what is stabilized here this value and this value is also approaching some value this sixth iteration x of 6 is equal to a into x of 5 equal to 2 plus 0 plus 0 0.9918 0 plus 0 plus 0 1 plus 0 plus 1.9836 so how much will be getting 2.9918 0 2.9836 take 2.9918 outside so it will be 1 divided by 0 and this one will be 0 0.9976 the question arises that when we can stop this procedure right that is the main question arising as i said that it is somewhat getting stabilized see some sometimes they will give you that you how to stop this procedure after three iteration four iteration now if you keep on doing this iteration you will be arriving at the same values that means lambda value will be same for previous iteration and the next iteration okay so here you can observe 2.5 was the lambda value here 2.8 then it went to 2.9 286 so what i'll do i'll give you the comparison of all these values mm -hmm. so if you see the values here lambda values i have written over here this lambda values for first iteration second iteration third iteration like that keep on going so we started with the 2 then it went to 2.5 2.8 then so on so if you see the last value is 2.9918 if you do the next iteration it will go uh if it keeps on increasing it will go approximately equal to what 3 right so approximately it will be equal to 3 Next, if you observe the corresponding eigenvector, the corresponding eigenvector which is nothing but beside this whatever is sitting, there is nothing but the corresponding eigenvector. Okay, so we started with the first iteration here, second iteration here, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. so that it is 1 1 1 everywhere 1 0 also it is same the last value is varying right 0 0.5 0 0.8 it also keeps on increasing here you can observe that it, it has reached around 0 0.9918 and 0 0.9973 if you do that it is closer to this value which is closer to 1 value right so you can write the answer as what answer as what the largest eigenvalue we are getting lambda value as how much approximately equal to 3 okay and the corresponding eigenvector we can say is that what it is equal to 1 0 1 this will be the answer okay?